Welcome back to the Athmoy Archipelago, our D&D campaign. This time it is episode two. In the first episode, we all met each other in a bar, and we got on a ship to go over to Lesser Lertos. On the way, um, Wainstrom and Zephyr run into a little issue underneath in the cargo hold, and we're about to steal some silver as well. And we pick up after our rest on the ship. You've rested on the ship. Nothing else happens. No other occurrences. Mm -hmm. You scoot along until you begin to see the forested... Until you see the forested uh, floating island of Lesser Alertos. Lesser Alertos. Fade into view. There's a little dock on the side. This is way less urban than the other place you were in. You're Mm -hmm. now in the Alertos um, Union. I see that. You pull into dock. Aldous... Uh, the little dragonborn dude goes up to you and says, "You, uh, thank you. I'm I'm glad you were uh, able to uh, able to um help me. Here's your payment as promised." Uh, and he gives you each fifteen whole gold pieces. Fifteen whole gold pieces. Exactly. You now pull into the city. It is more of a town. It's more of a town. Uh, it's surrounded by farmland, kind of like going around this uh, this big floating island. It's smaller than the farmland. Actually, um, from what you can tell, it's about the same size as the island that you were on. Um, but it's mostly just woods. You with a small town there. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do? As you were here, uh, if you want, I'll just go look around. I'll yeah, go look around in the look, uh, look around the town, around. maybe. Yeah. You decide to step off the ship at the yeah. dock and walk away. Mm-hmm. There's people unloading it. As you oh. begin to walk into the town, uh, there's a big town well. Uh, there is a dude in a top hat who's giving a kind of giving a speech to some people. There's the church. There's a library, like a big temple. There's a library. Uh, and there's like a, a little open air market area. Ooh. I listen in on the guy's speech. I listen to what he's going to talk about. He's uh, this funny dude in a top hat. Uh, and he says, <laughs> Well, everyone, I know we, we've had a, a difficult few days with the but we are determined to survive. I, as the town's mayor, Timmy, am here to assure you that this the town will recover from these monster attacks. We will we will find a way, and we will be and we will uh, drive this these monsters away. I promise you, we won't let anything attack us. Or, or attack our farmland. And you see the townsfolk aren't buying it. They're like... He's a... I just want the townsfolk uh, exactly what he's talking about. Uh, it's, it's a... It's a guy. He's got a straw hat on. He's got a piece of straw in his mouth. And he goes... He says, Oh, you must be new to the island. Be new to the island. Actually, no, he's very old. He's got a white beard. <laughs> he says, you must be new to the island. There's been an attack. My scarecrow came to life and attacked my fields. What he, he killed my my hog. My hogs that I was raising on my farm. And he, he cut my wheat with his, with his sickle. And he ran off. Everyone's scarecrows have been coming alive at night. It's terrible. Get out while you still can. He backs away into the crowd and vanishes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I, excuse me, sir. Uh, what would you say the uh, difficulty is to become the mayor here? Are, are, we, are you talking just another crowd member? Yeah, yeah. There's a lady there, um, blonde. She's got like a bake. She's like a baker. She's got flour on her apron. She says, 
I'd vote for anyone over that, over, well, we don't vote, it's just an appointed position, but if I could vote theoretically, I'd, I'd vote for anyone so, over, over So how, how would I go about dethroning this guy? Oh, Lord. <sighs> Very funny. But you'd have to talk to, you'd have to talk to the king. He lives on the bigger island. Mm. I'm but sure I'll really, see him. The only one with any power here, here is Timmy, or the mayor, and he points up at the guy in the top hat. Well, Timmy. hopefully I, I can change that. <laughs> Good luck. Timmy. I just want these living scarecrows to stop messing up our town. Do you guys have any idea of yeah. why they're doing this, or no? We don't know. A few months ago, at night, uh, farmer scarecrows would uh, would come to life. They'd, it started with a few, but eventually, more and every night, more and more scarecrows become alive. And they attack their own farms and run off into the woods. And now we're too scared to harvest our grains. We think they might be hiding out in the cornfields. Can I, I do, say we go to the cornfields. Can I do like an intelligence check to see if I know anything of this ever? Uh, like yeah, a wisdom? Sure. Wis would that be wisdom? Uh, or actually, give me an arcana check. Okay. Do you know about magic living scarecrows? Oh, fucking seven. <laughs> seven? Yeah, seven. You don't know much about this, uh, but you can assume they must be being, they must be magical in some way. to become animated. Okay. You don't know what. All right, they yeah, actually then. do notice you, and, and they and they say, Oh, you're a member of the Order. The Order yes. of the Golden Dragon. <laughs> would you... Would you and and your friends be able to help us? Uh, we can uh, take a look and maybe see what we no, can do. No, damn it. Thank, we, we'd, we'd all appreciate that a lot. Where do you think we should start? Let's go you to the cornfield. Do you want? You don't have to immediately go to the cornfield. No, I want to immediately go. Ex to the cornfield. Explore a little first, maybe. You could explore the town. You could ask for more information. We should probably ask for more information. Dog lick hand. No, or you could get up to whatever you want. It's midday right now, so. I was gonna go look at the market. That was my initial. I wanted to go look at the market. What do y'all feel? Uh, yeah, I agree. Go per peruse. You head on down yeah, the cobblestone. We'll uh, there's various stalls. Some are selling uh, bread. Some are selling fish. Uh, there's a vegetables. Um, there's uh, there's there's two uh, stalls. One is labeled Greg's Crisp Apples, and the other is named uh, Steve's Crisp Apples. And there is uh, two dwarves who are sitting there, and they're 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 yelling at each other. There's also a guy at the fishmonger. He's got two big fish. Okay. Who, what would you like to do? I go to talk to the apple guys. <laughs> like, Yo, what's <laughs> going on here? As you approach, one guy is like, "Yo, yo, fucking liar!" My apples are ten times better than your apples. And the other one goes, Damn. Oh, fuck, superior to yours! Can I, That's what they sound like. Can I buy one of each apple and taste them and tell them who's better? You dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, as they see you approach, they, they point and say, You! Who's do you think are better? Yeah, which one of our apples are more delicious? And they and they throw you an apple. Uh, Steve is the one with the with the weird grumble voice, and Greg is the one with the high pitched voice. Okay. Whose apple do you try? Oh, is there like it's just fully on based off my own opinion? Yeah, you know they rock up. Do? Oh you know shit! You do? <laughs> no, you should roll a six sided die even to Steve's odds as the other guy. Yeah, I'll do that. Flip a coin. I'll do that. So Greg was the high pitched voice, yeah. Greg. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do a D4. Steve. Even is even is is okay, the yeah. high pitch. 
All right, it is even, so it's the high pitched guy. Oh, Greg? Steve? Greg? Yeah, Greg. <laughs> it's the high pitched guy. You take a bite into Greg's apple. Oh. It's. <laughs> it's it's oh. <laughs> it's so flavorful. The juices, the sweetness, the, the, the tart crisp of the apple. <laughs> Damn. ASL. It's the not ASL. Apple you've ever tasted. It's so wonderful. You, you taste the uh, detail about an apple. <laughs> you, do you go in for a bite from Steve's apples now? Yeah. Uh, oh, holy! This apple, nearly as good, <laughs> just a bit tartar, but with Ooh. a uh, but with a sweet, lovely aftertaste. Got a complex flavor profile. Um. They are, they're, they're, they're both wonderful. They're both some of the best apples you've ever had. Shit. <laughs> uh, I guess I, uh, I go, I go, damn, you guys got to sell this yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You got to tell us whose apple is more delicious. That do good. How are we supposed to resolve this predicament? I throw them both a gold piece and I tell them to both shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I have plus seven. I got oh, seventeen plus see? seven. It's a twenty-four. Jesus. They look at the gold piece and they look at each other and they go, "Oh my god, it's the secret the whole time." We, we should we should sell our apples together as best friends. <laughs> and then the other guy says, "And also as." And then they embrace each other and they kiss. And they Whoa. rename their sign. Yeah. <laughs> that took a turn. That took a turn. That's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Greg. And they change their sign. It says Greg and Steve's crisp apples. Damn. And they combine their stalls. Look at me. Change it and change the world. One Steve and Greg at a time. Gay love story, I guess. Yeah, the, the Romeo and Juliet. Except Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo and Romeo. Yeah. Romeo and Romeo. Romeo and Romeo, yeah. This is Gnomeo and Juliet. That's such a good movie. No, it's Gnomeo and Gnomeo. Gnome, then. Gnomeo and Gnomeo, yeah. That, that, that's, <laughs> don't that's me, what, no, don't me, no. What else would you like to do? Dog. Yeah. Ooh, but, we, what would we anyone else like to do? Brady's dog. Look, boys, it's Chris and Brayden and Daniel. Hey, hey, hey doggy. Dog. <laughs> Strangle the dog. <laughs> Throw the dog out the window. Aw. Um, I look at, I look around again. I look at Brady's still, dog. <laughs> there is a dog in the market. A big shaggy thing. It's next to the fishmonger. It's Brady's dog. I'll go over to the fishmonger. Over to the fishmonger. Um, there is also like a street performer juggling, doing some magic tricks. Mm -hmm. You want to go over to the fishmonger though? Mm -hmm. uh, it's being run by this very large... Um, Kind of like a uh, 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 aquatic elf called a triton. He's got blue skin and fins, and uh, he's got a big, big neck. And he says, oh, "Welcome to my fish shop. What do you want?" <laughs> I'm, I'm Glorb. I'm interested in who you are. Like, as, what do you do here? I, uh, I sell fish from the lake. And I, and I sell them at my stall. Are you familiar with these scarecrows that are coming alive? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he, he, he rolls oh, yeah. up his sleeves, and you see a big scar on his arm. He said, well, almost got me when I was bringing in my fish haul last night. I was real scared. I peed my pants. <laughs> I peed my pants, and I cried. I ran away. <laughs> Fucking and then I shit my pants. <laughs> I peed and shit my pants at the same time. I was so scared. Oh my God. You would you, fish? would you be able to tell us where this happened at? I saw it. It came out of the cornfields right by my lake where I go fishing. All right. Like a demon, he came out in the night. I've never been more scared. Well, you are you uh, adventurers looking to help? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Um, this is my lucky day. You want to, you want, you want, I don't know if this will help you. And he, he reaches like below and, and he pulls out an eel and he says, take a free eel. <laughs> It'll help you on your quest. <laughs> <laughs> He holds the eel out to you. Can someone wear it as a yeah. necklace? You should wear it. As a I'll wear, I read it. I put it around my neck. <laughs> you take the like, eel. Just, it's just like it draped. Around. It's, yeah, it it's like, slimy like, and wet and cold. Scarf. It's mm. slimy, wet and cold. Oh says, God! Oh, I, I see you. I've seen. I see you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> You're professional. <laughs> Have a, have a nice day now, buddy. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thanks for the yeah, I can say you too, I guess. I guess. <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> if you're looking to take out the scarecrows, you check the cornfields out on the edge of town, nearby where my lake is. He points on a map and shows you where it is. Okay. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll solve your problem for you. Yes, sir. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Good luck. May the eel guide you. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy's elite. All right. All right. We go to the cornfield. Well, oh, before we leave, can I go over and uh, talk to the street performer? Yeah. He's wearing like a jester outfit, it's red and red and uh, red and blue with gold accents. He's standing on like a ball, and he's juggling flames. It's a joker. Can I? Uh, can I challenge him to like a magic contest? No one defeats Crab Jubis, the <laughs> mystical. <laughs> I accept your challenge. He's, he's juggling his little fireballs. <laughs> uh, a little crowd gathers around. They're like, "Oh my god, someone's someone's challenging." What did I call him? A Bubis? What the fuck did he even call him? It's like Crab Jabis or something. <laughs> crab Jabis. <laughs> Someone's challenging Crab Jabbers. This is unbelievable. What what act do you perform? Um, I perform some like perform. I like. What should I do? You should pull me out of. I your like. Hat. I have. I take like a deck of cards and I like. I like shuffle them together and then I like. Practice. I just close my hands and start like crumpling and then I go like this and it's just not there. You do like card tricks, like card tricks, and then I like grab mm. it in my mouth and like pull out all the like the whole deck of cards and shit like that. Make yeah, make a performance check or a sleight of hand check. Can I choose a sleight of hand? I was gonna do a sleight of hand, but I, I chose world performance. But I would like to do a sleight of hand. See how Scrub Jubbis does. 16. Fuck, I almost had a. I almost rolled on a 17, but I rolled a 7 plus 9 for 16. 16? Um, That's you shit. do your card trick. It's a sick card trick. You're like pulling cards out of your ears. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty it's zero wax on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's real impressed. Uh, but Scrab Jubbis? Uh oh. He looks at you and he goes. <laughs> You call that mystical trick? Look what I can do. He reaches uh, into his mouth and he pulls <laughs> out an entire cow. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Man literally ate a whole cow. He was that hungry. <laughs> and then he points at it and he goes, Dad! Um... What do I even say? What do I say to him? Looks like you need to learn your new better tricks. I pull out a bow and like shoot it at him. <laughs> what? No, no. You no. actually? No, no, no. no. What's your trick? Here, I can grab this invisible strike, okay? And we're gonna put one into this here, okay? Yeah? To this here? And I have it on the other side. And I tell him, you should grab it, okay, buddy? And I t he's grabbing it right now. And I said, you feel it going through you? He's like, no. And I said, well, why don't you pull it really hard? And he pulls it, and then I smack him. <laughs> I'm back. 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna let you. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let you hit. What happens? Wait, what his, happens? AC, his AC is very low. Um, <laughs> make an unarmed strike against him to oh, be one, under attack. Unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. It's one strike. plus your strike. Okay, yeah. You, so you smack him. Yeah. Fuck. Nine. Nine damage. Wait, damage or to hit? I think you rolled the hit. Probably the hit. You, you don't you already hit. Oh, I already hit him. Yeah, already, damage. Already hit him. Then roll damage. It should be strength. It should be it, one plus your strength. It just says five. Yeah, that doesn't mean it does five damage. That's <laughs> it. Wait, hold up. Oh my god! Wait, this did is you? Just a gun. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, why are we it's beating him up? Your strength. I don't know. That's Chris. I didn't. I didn't. I just was you, like, oh, was Chris, wanted to fight him. Chris wanted to beat him up. You start doing a magic trick, and then you smack him, and he goes... <laughs> and he just no, falls like, to the ground and three he health. Okay, I go, I go, and I grab... Wait, what's Chris's character's name? Um, Vogler. Vogler. I go, I, I grab Vogler, Vogler, and I, like, push him away, and, like, to the ground. Uh, 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 glub... What did, what did I call him? Glub Tuppus? Um, Tubbis, no. yeah. Yeah, Glove Tuppus is lying on the ground in a heap. Just, just <laughs> absolutely unconscious. Great, I accidentally killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you do now that you... you Let's go to the cornfield. Let's go to the cornfield. <laughs> Get away. Weirdly enough, people don't seem very... They seem pretty nonplussed. About um, <laughs> you beating the shit out of Glove Tuppus. <laughs> Glove Tuppus. They're just like, hey, he's pretty annoying. Okay, good. So I did the town a good beat. I feel bad I for Glove Tuppus. He was a good magician. <laughs> yeah, he put a fucking cow in his mouth. Yeah. That <laughs> takes Boys, commitment, gotta, and then Chris just slapped the shit out of him. Hang on, y'all. I gotta move my setup. Uh, are y'all still good to? Want to go a little while? Yeah, longer? um, it's up to yeah. you. I'm good to end whenever. I'm good to I'm go. Gonna, I'm good. I'm to also go. good to go. Keep going. I'm good to do whatever. Chris, how do you feel? Chris, how do you feel? I'm good to go. I d- I don't want to like push you if you're if you're if you're big EP. Should we? Uh, I just we, have a nine a.m. That's why. Should we uh just pause we as like end end on our as we're going to the cornfield maybe? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you head off towards the cornfield. And we will see you next time. <laughs> Is that really the outro? Yeah, or all like cut out. Yeah. Up his... Exactly. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> now, now he's just <laughs> fucking divine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh my Christ. God, that You're was like so the Slender funny. Man over here. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well... And that's it that was episode. D&D episode one. That was fun. What did y'all think? Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was good. You have a good time? Yes. And that's what it was okay. You, it was kind of interesting because I don't, I don't remember like beginning. Like I feel like we haven't had to like introduce ourselves to each other. Because technically we're still like in the game. We're still really not like that close. Yeah, we don't know each like, other. Like, really. just met yeah, each I other. hate your guys' guts. Like a day ago. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I think it's kind of cool because like we don't actually know that Braden's like a pirate and stuff. Yeah, they have no idea that I was formerly a pirate. I'm not being revealed for anytime. I'm looking forward to being able to play in person. 